Hi friends, this is Kushal. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will give you an insight on the Under-19 Cricket World Cup, which most of us have a little knowledge about, but not all. The Under-19 ICC Under-19 World Cup, the first ever played was in 1988, which was won by Australia. Uh, the next one happened in 1998, uh, 10 years later. And then after every two years, this tournament has been taking place. This time the ICC Under-19 World Cup 2020 is in South Africa. This is the 13th edition and Japan for the first time ever has qualified to participate in an ICC full member nation tournament. Welcome to my channel. I will give you an insight about Japan, Japan's prospects in this World Cup, the team, and who they play against and what is the schedule for the matches this time. As you can see on the screen, it starts on January 17th with obviously the home team, the hosting nation South Africa playing against the upcoming Afghanistan team. Second day is one of the most important days for Japan as it plays its first full nation ICC full nation tournament. First match is with New Zealand on the 18th of January. That means Japan and New Zealand are in the same group. Next, we go on. There are various matches on each day. Some of the days have even four matches. The next uh, Japan match is on the 21st of January. And that's the big day for me especially. Because for the first time ever in history, being an Indian, I will not support the Indian team. I'll be supporting my team, Japan team. 21st January, it's India, Japan, half of the world's population and all of the world's cricket loving community will come to know that there is cricket in Japan on a big scale and Japan can play really good cricket. Then we go, the third match Japan is playing is on the 24th of Jan, I'm sorry, 25th of Jan, which is Sri Lanka versus Japan. So as you can see, Japan is placed in the group A, which has Japan, New Zealand, India and Sri Lanka. So as we all know the other three teams are very very strong teams so Japan has to play out of the skin and really perform well to even compete against these big giants of cricket. So this year this time the tournament is happening in South Africa fast bouncy pitches. Very few of the Japanese kids may have played against a speed of about 135 kilometers, 140 kilometers, which I guess the Indians, New Zealanders and the Sri Lankans are used to in their home countries. So it's going to be a big test of skills and nerves for the Japanese kids, but I'm sure they have trained hard and show, they show grit and fighting spirit against these teams. The main difference between the ICC Under-19 tournament and the World Cup is that the ICC Under-19 tournament is not just a knockout tournament. If you don't pass in the group stages, if you don't qualify in the group stages for the next stage, you don't go back home. You actually play the Plate League. Plate League is for the teams to get standings from number 9 position to number 16th position. So it's not basically about just who won the tournament. It's about who came first, who came second, third, fourth until 16th position. So Japan will stay back even if they don't qualify for the next group. They will play the plate league which they will be playing against the losing team. The third in the position and the fourth position teams in each group will go to the plate league. Once the plate league is finished, we go to the super league where the top eight teams play each other. It's basically the quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. Being an Indian, I'm very proud to say that in the last 12 editions of this tournament, four have been won by India, which is a maximum by any country. But this time I hope Japan gives them a fight. So this is the way we proceed on. And then in the month of February, 9th February, we have the final in South Africa, which starts around 5 p.m., which is 8 a.m. GMT. It will be pretty late in the evening in Japan when the matches start. And as these are the 50 over uh, format, it will go on past midnight. But I am sure all cricket lovers in Japan and even in India 
will be interested to see the matches. We welcome you all. Please see the matches. Support your team. Support cricket. Thank you. Stay strong. Namaste.